twice as fast to 60 miles per hour and have a power to weight ratio double that of even the fastest cars. Top speed is about the same, around 200 miles an hour. But a motorcycle is much, much more agile. So how would I ever catch one? This is the Corvette Z06. It's the track version of Chevy's top of the line sports car. At 505 horsepower, it's not the strongest. And at even at $100,000, it's not the most expensive, but it is remarkable for one thing. It's a police car. In 2009, the Wake County Sheriff's Department in North Carolina seized an almost new Z06 in a drug bust. They put it to good use by making it a high-speed pursuit vehicle on Interstate 40, instantly making it the fastest police car in America. How fast is the Z06? Well, it's a lot faster than my Interceptor that won the police car challenge. It's zero to 60 is 3.8 seconds compared to the Interceptor at 5.8. It's more than 50 miles an hour faster. But the advantage of a car like this is the handling. It's near 50-50 weight distribution means you can do this. A lot of concentration there. Okay, we are going to get busted. Wait a minute, I'm a cop. I can do whatever I want. Oh my gosh. This thing sounds so mean. Instead of a siren, they should just amplify the exhaust. Nobody would run. The top speed of 198 miles per hour, the Z06 is undoubtedly fast, but does it make a good police car? You know, this is not a practical car for a police officer. Not the best at getting through the alleys as it does bottom out a bit. Oh, yeah, that's not good. You can't fit a computer in it. You couldn't fit a perp in there. You'd have to be riding shotgun with you, which is probably not the best scenario. I mean, there's hardly anything practical in a police sense about this car except high-speed chasing. So it was clear the Z06 was only good for one thing. The question was, how good? This is Ernie Vigil and his 140 horsepower Triumph 1050 speed triple. That bike will go zero to 60 in about two and a half seconds. And Ernie's one of the best stunt riders on the planet. So if you were robbing a bank and you could fit all your goodies in a man purse and you're trying to get away, this would probably be your guy. But I'm not robbing a bank. I'm the police. Instead, I'm gonna chase him. The chase would be over a five mile course around the harbor. The first section was a flat out drag race that would definitely favor the bike's superior acceleration. Next, we'd weave around the warehouses looking for the fastest route through. Then it was onto the docks. And because the Corvette was better at cornering, this giant maze of shipping containers would work to my advantage. Finally, to win, I'd have to beat him across the finish line at the end of my jurisdiction on the far side of the Vincent Thomas Bridge. So, if I can cross the finish line before the bike, then I've proven that I can catch the fastest getaway machine in the country with a working, real live police car. If I don't, pretty sure every bad guy is going to go get one of those. Good to go, Ernie? Let's do this. Okay, let's be honest. Not a lot of chance here. He's got triple the power to weight ratio. He's only two feet wide and I can barely fit through a six foot gap. The only thing I have going for me is the contact patch on the bike is super tiny between the tires and the road so I can corner faster in this car. So hopefully there's a lot of turns. All right, let's do this, Ernie.
this was it. If I didn't win, every cop in the country would be gunning for me. It's so bad. Oh, he's going into the warehouse. Oh, my gosh. Inside, the bike had a huge advantage. This car feels huge! The Corvette was almost scraping the walls and I was losing it. Where is he going? Where is he going? I can't fit through there. I'm gonna go this way. We were neck and neck. The bike inside, me outside. Where is he? Where is he? Then Ernie burst out of the warehouse. Oh, there he is! Time to give him a speeding ticket. Not gonna happen, buddy! Oh, he takes a shortcut. Three miles to go, we raced into the docks. I was praying for some tight corners, or the bike would leave me in the dust. Come on, oh, cornering speed. I got him a little bit now. He's a drifting biker, and it's so awesome! are better. Under braking. Oh, I got him under braking. Oh my gosh, look how slow he corners. This is where the Corvette has the advantage. Look at him leaned over and sliding. That is impressive. Oh, oh, squeezing their hands inside. Yes! Yes! Now the course started to weave in and out of huge piles of steel containers. Ernie couldn't afford to lose it here or he'd crash. Bad for him, good for me. Swallowing through the containers, I pushed the Z06 hard to build on my slender lead. After the containers, we headed for the dockside and a half mile straight away. Ernie was back in the lead with just two miles to the finish. Now we race towards Vincent Thomas Bridge. Its mile and a half span was my last chance to reel in Ernie in his speed triple. Or spend the rest of my life getting tickets from every cop who spotted me. Oh my gosh, he is gone! It was time to lay down the law. lay in the raw power of the Z06. 130. Once we hit triple digits, the bike's acceleration would slow. The Corvettes would just keep going. Start to reel them in a little bit. Doesn't feel the most stable over 140, I can tell you that. See ya! Yeah! 505 horsepower. I'd finally taken him on the bridge. Now I just had to hold him off through the last corner. Pull it down for this one. Yeah! That's it. 
fought the law, and the law won. The Corvette Z06 may not be the most practical police car in the country, but I think we've proven there's not a perp alive that can outrun it.